This video is going to let us start generating a list of phrases that we might need and or see when we are creating or working with algebraic expressions and equations. Let's go ahead and set up our topic and date. Uh, let's call our topic today algebraic phrases and key words. We'll also make sure we have our essential question. For the essential question, I've written, what words describe the different operations we see in algebra? But really, this can be used for all sorts of math, right? It's not just specific to this unit. When we work in algebra, we often find ourselves writing or reading steps in words, and we have to translate them into expressions or equations. For example, you might see or hear something such as, I have twice the number, right? That would tell me that I'm taking a variable, maybe n will be my variable, and I'm multiplying it by 2, right? This tells me that I have twice that number, so I might write 2n. Right? So I took the phrase and I turned it into an algebraic expression. There are lots of phrases we use, but we don't always stop to think about what they mean. We're going to make a quick list of a few, and we can always add to it as we find more during our time working with algebra. When I turn my page here on my video, I'm going to show you a graphic organizer that has a great start to a list that we're going to be able to use. I'd like you to copy this neatly into your journal so that it's a reference that we can look at together. So there's a lot going on here on this page, but it's broken down into different categories based on our operations, right? So we have here our addition words, subtraction words, division, multiplication, and even some keywords for when we get to thinking about what the equal um, sign could represent, and then even some parentheses, which is a little bit more complex. You can see how it's set up. Right? It's all in the shape of the operation to help you remember as well. So go ahead and pause the video. This might take a moment or two right, to pause the video um, and make sure you have these written down. And then on the next slide, we'll just do a couple examples of using these words. Let's take a moment just to do a little practice with some of the phrases that we've seen. If you see something such as the sum of a number and 12, what do you think that would look like using a variable? I think I would take my number and the sum tells me I'm adding and I'm going to add 12. My algebraic expression would be n plus 12 or whatever variable you chose. What algebraic expression would you write to represent a number decreased by 5. Go ahead and write down what you think. I wrote that it would be the number minus 5. So I used n minus 5. The next one here says 4 less than a number. Write down what you think that might look like algebraically. Again, this one I thought would be subtraction. It's four less than the number, so I'm starting with the number and taking away four. Let's see, one last one here. I've written eight times a number. Go ahead and write down what you think that should look like algebraically using a variable. I've written eight n to represent eight times N. The essential question of this video was to look for words that describe different operations we see in algebra. I've showed you a whole list and I've asked you to write this list carefully into your journal um, as a reference. We'll be using these more and more as we go on with our algebra work.